You can see I have a scratch program in front of me with seven challenges listed in the comments area. You might want to share the link to this program with students. The link is beneath this video and then have them complete these seven challenges. I will be making a series of seven short videos to share possible solutions for each of the challenges listed. Let's take a look at the code as it is now. So if I run the code by clicking on this green flag, you can see that it plots 10 diamonds. It stamps them in different positions. Let's start by looking through each section of the code. So when I click the green flag, it's going to erase whatever is on the stage here. It then sets the X and Y coordinates to zero. I did use variables to make these X and Y coordinates. It then uses the go to block and says go to the X position, which is zero, and the Y coordinate, which is also zero. So it starts at zero, zero, which is the center of the screen. We're then going to do the next part 10 times because it has a repeat of 10. The first time through the loop, it changes the X coordinate by 10, so it becomes 10, and the Y coordinate by 10, so it becomes 10. It will then glide to that position, which is 10, 10, and then stamp. So the first one gets stamped. Goes through the loop a second time, and it adds 10 to the previous value of the X coordinate, so it now becomes 20. And it also adds 10 to the previous value of the Y coordinate, so it becomes 20 as well. So then it will glide to position 20, 20, stamp the diamond, and go again. And it does this at position 30, 30, 40, 40, and so on. You can see that the last position, the last point is 100, 100. And if I move the diamond, you can see it was stamped there. So let's try the first challenge now. It says alter the code to plot five points in quadrant one. Well, right now we can see there are 10 points in quadrant one. So let's look through our code and decide how we can, instead of plotting 10, plot five points. So right now it's plotting 10 and there's a repeat of 10. So let's change that to five and then run our code again to see if we are correct. So that works. We have a possible solution for challenge one. I'll share the next solution in the next video.